Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how to create your own audiobook with just 12 lines of Python code. For that you need a software called PyCharm where you can download it in the Google for free. For that you need to go to the PyCharm and hit the download button. As you can see there are two versions available for the windows. One is professional and another is a community version. Community version is an open source software where you can download it for free. So we need to click download button here as it is already installed in my system. So I'll directly open this. Yes, we are in the main page now. So to, in order to run this program, we need a package name called Python text to speech. So I'll first install the package. So install. Yes, as you can see, it is already installed in my system. So I'm, I'm going to give this package name first. After that, you can give any name like speak as a variable. So I'm going to call this package. And I'll initialize it. Yes. So we can just make our Python program talk with just four lines of code. So I'll write this code here first. So I'll speak again. We'll make this talk like this. These are built-in functions. So I'm gonna give it as i tour. How is your day? So we'll call speak again and we'll just give it as and wait. Yes, we just these four lines of Python code you can make your program talk. So let's just run in this and see. Hi Ishwar, how is your day? Yes, it looks well. So let's get into the second step where you need to download a PDF to read. So you can download any PDF in the Google. So I'll download as AI PDF. So I've downloaded this PDF and the most important thing is where you need to save this PDF in the projects which you have created earlier. So for that you need to go to this this PC users under user you need to go to the PyCharm projects and audiobook. So give it a simple name so that you can very well open this. So give it as AI PDF. So it is already installed. I mean like it is already downloaded so I have not downloaded it again. So let's open the book now to read. For that you need to give it as book a variable name and let's open this. This is a python built in method where you need to open the pdf file which you have downloaded. So. I have given it as ai.pdf so I am mentioning it as ai it automatically shows in the recommendation so you can double click here and give another param parameter to make it as reading a binary book there is another package required where you need to install to read the pdf for that you need to go to terminal again and you can just give it as pip and install PDF. So this is the package name where it reads the PDF and just directly hit enter. Requirement already satisfied. So what it tells is the package name what it is there. It is already installed in my system. So let's declare that here as well. Import. PDF2. So after installing this, let's declare a variable name. So let it call as media reader.
call the package name dot Yes, now we will call this book like this. After that, you need to give us pages. So, I will explain you why we have given this pages variable. So, for example, if you want to know how many pages does your PDF contain, so we have declared this pages as pages equals. PDF reader dot number of pages. These are all the built-in functions in the Python. So I have given this. We will print the number of pages that are present in our PDF. So we will directly give it as print pages. So now this let's run this program and see. Hi Ishwar, how is your day? As you can see, it displays four like. Our PDF contains four pages. So I'll show you how many pages does our PDF contain. In the Python projects, audio book. Yes, as you can see, it contains only four pages. So we have successfully got our output that it contains four pages. This in between of PDF, so let's get a variable called page. You can call the PDF reader dot get page. As you can see, we have four number of pages in our PDF. So I'll call a page number of, for example, two. So I've called it as two. And in the next step, you need to create another variable like text. You can let's say it as page dot extract we need to extract the text from here. So I'll just make this as text in the PDF. So instead of talking something else, so let's give it as text. And we are done with the program. Now just let's run this program. Way an attempt is made to apply a more human like way of thinking as in the you can programming see it of is computers. Now reading the second page. Five point one fuzzy expert system. A fuzzy expert system uses fuzzy logic instead of Boolean logic. In other words. A fuzzy expert system is a collection of membership functions and rules that are used to reason about data fuzzy expert systems are oriented toward numerical processing whereas conventional expert systems are mainly symbolic reasoning engines the rules in a fuzzy expert system are usually of a form similar to the following if x is low and y is high then z equals medium where x and y are input variables names for no data values Z. Yes, we have successfully run our program. Please do like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.